Recently, the Foo Fighters were performing in Sweden, and unfortunately, there was an accident involving performer Dave Grohl. Now, as he was playing his instrument and having a good time, this happened. Ugh. So it looks like he tripped on a cord, but it got worse. Uh, he actually broke his leg, and as a result, he promised the audience that he would go to a hospital quickly and then come back and continue performing, and that's exactly what he did, which is phenomenal. I don't think I would do that. I think I would just kind of give up at that point, especially if I broke any bones. So. Um, Another amazing thing is the audience stuck around and they watched him perform and everything was fine. Now, he was returned to the stage via stretcher and he finished the concert. I, I love this. It kind of shows you that if you're passionate about something and if you're loyal enough to your fans, you will go through anything to give them what they want. Charlie, what do you think? Make your point. I think it's the best day in the world for that EMT who got to sit there and be a total rock star yeah. holding his <laughs> foot up. Yeah. I think it's the worst day in the world for the guy who was supposed to tape down those cords because you know he lost his job. Oof. And, uh, but I think it just shows, like, like you're saying, it's a love for the job. You, I mean, how many stockbrokers do you see like breaking their arm, but like going back to work, for, you know, yeah. on the day? I mean, how many stockbrokers do you see doing anything of importance? <laughs> <laughs> that's the real question. I guess many of them don't have fifty-two thousand fans waiting to watch them. True, so that's true. probably a big part of it. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it shows an incredible love for your job, total badass rock star mm -hmm. moment, and. It's uh, it's going to be great for their brand. I think a lot of people are listening to the Foo Fighters right now just because they want to yep. see who's that car hardcore about it. Becca, so. make your point. I think Dave Grohl is kind of a polarizing character. You know, some people feel like he sold out. You know, he was just like grunge rock god, and now he's gone mm -hmm. sort of mainstream. And then other people just worship him. Yeah. Um, and I think this is a perfect example of like why he is worthy of worship. I mean, Dave Grohl is having more fun than anybody else in the business. Like every time I see him, he seems like relaxed and just slaying it. And then to see him, I mean, and unfortunately, I wish he was doing some like super hardcore shred move, but he just kind of like stumbles <laughs> off the stage. Like if he had done like a super like awesome like kick and like thrown his guitar and fall, yeah. then you know. But unfortunately, it's just like this is a man falling off of the stage. Even so, the like the real badass move is obviously like returning to the stage and like being such a commitment to fans. Like, the how commitment. do you not love I Dave know. Grohl after this? Yeah, I mean, even I if you're not, you. even if you're not into his music, even if you don't like him as a person, you got to give him credit for that commitment. So the question is, uh, name a time that you had to power through something under questionable circumstances, Charlie. Um, a few years ago, I was doing behind the scenes for like Transformers movie, and I was in Chicago the night before was my uncle's wedding, mm -hmm. so I was up all night. And then later in the day, we had to shoot these people jumping off a roof, these Red Bull divers, and it was only one take, and you couldn't miss it. Totally missed it. So, um, yeah, we did not get that behind the scenes shot, and I guess I really didn't pull through. So. <laughs> Oh, I still like the story, though. I love those kinds of stories. Uh, Becca. Okay, so this might be a little TMI, so just warning. <laughs> that, no, no, Interesting. That's, okay, that's exactly what I wanted uh, to say. Okay, so yeah. um, I, we do a lot of awards show coverage at Pop Sugar, and it was the night of the Golden Globes this, this past year. And before the show, I'm like uh, hanging out at my house. It's Sunday, and I'm like, I want to make myself brunch. So I like get some of that Trader Joe's soy riso. I'm mm -hmm. vegetarian, um, and I don't know how to cook. Like. You know, just caveat, like literally I have a condiment-based fridge. I don't like know how to do it. But I'm like, whatever, I'll just squeeze all this out into a bowl and eat it. So I didn't put any, I just like squeezed a lot of soy riso in a bowl and like. You didn't cook it or anything? Like, no, I didn't really do anything with it. I was like, oh, it's just ready to go. Like, so I ate like a, a giant bowl of it. It is essentially like oil with like some soy bits in it. And you're supposed to like put other food items in there with uh. it to like counteract the oiliness. You're not just to eat a giant bowl of it, essentially. <laughs> I did. About an hour later, I was like, mama doesn't feel so good. Uh. And like, there was like an oil slick inside me. Now I have to go to work and I need to be like dressed up, looking fly and sitting for many hours watching the Golden Globes and, and all these famous people, you know, like schmoozing and accepting awards. And then I'm supposed to like comment on it. And I'm just like in pain, needing to go to the bathroom a lot. And I just was like, okay, you have to like, 
you just gotta power through. Yeah. Now, like, obviously, like, doesn't look as cool as, like, Dave Kroll in a cast. Like, I'm just, like, running back and forth to the bathroom and everyone's <laughs> like, what's going on, Becca? And I'm like, how do I explain that I basically created, like, a soy riso oil spill inside me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's, wow. like, exactly what I did. It was, um, hideous. So. Wow. Um, but it's good. I know, like, you know, I don't... You just gotta, you gotta prepare it. Yeah, not, I don't want to disparage Trader Joe's. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Trader Joe's. Um, I had this one experience when I was in grad school that I'll never forget. I had to go up and give a presentation on a very, very long paper I wrote about the democratic peace theory and how it applied to Panama and the United States. And there, I didn't know that there was a Panamanian student in the class who was going to disagree with everything I had to say. So as I'm giving this presentation, um, he was just ripping me apart in the meanest way possible. And he was like a very like big, intimidating guy. And at the time, I was like, I think I was 21. And I was super intimidated by everyone in the class because I was younger than them and I knew they thought I was probably an idiot. I don't know. And so um, he was criticizing me so much that I couldn't hold back tears. And so I had to continue doing the presentation while crying because if I didn't finish the presentation, I'd fail. It was the worst experience of my academic career. It was horrible. And that guy was such a dick. I didn't know you had hecklers in college. I oh, know. my God. He was horrible. <laughs> well, he, he, since he was Panamanian, he felt like I was saying things that were offensive to his people because I said things that were favorable about some American intervention mm -hmm. in Panama, whatever it is. Okay. But regardless, he was being a dick, and I had to power through that horrible, horrible presentation. Name a time that you guys had to power through something under questionable circumstances. And also, do you like Dave Grohl? I want to know. I'm actually going to go see him in concert um, later on this year, and I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy it. I like the Foo Fighters. I'm down. Yeah, you're down? I'm down. I like that Everlong song. Yeah, I mean, it's listen. like my favorite song of all time, actually. Like, it's great for karaoke, too, when you're like <laughs> yes. jamming out. Yes. And I think the best part we didn't mention is he actually played Walk while in that cast. Oh. That was the best part of the story. <laughs> Just Ironic. Poetic, so poetic. Yes. All right, guys, comment in the section below. We'll see you soon.